What must happen to make the image on the left look like the image on the right? A, increase wall filter. B, decrease PRF. C, decrease map. Or D, increase Nyquist limit. So right away, it's pretty obvious that this artery here is not quite as filled in as this one over here. This one here is completely filled with color Doppler. And the answer is you're gonna decrease PRF. So what's going on is your PRF here is too high. Anytime your PRF goes up, that means your scale, your wall filter, and your Nyquist limit all went up. When you adjust one of those, all four go up. So if you adjust your scale, your wall filter, PRF, and Nyquist limit all go up. If you decrease one of them, they all go down. Anytime your PRF increases, that means your depth is shallow. So PRF and depth are inversely related, meaning they're the opposite. So when your depth decreases, meaning you're more shallow, your PRF increases. If your PRF is high, that means you're looking at a more shallow region, meaning you're not getting a whole lot of pulses to come down in this region here. The only other way that you can fill in color here, if you didn't adjust any settings, is if you increase your color gain. So you have to decrease your PRF, which decreases your wall filter, Nyquist limit, and your scale, so that you can get pulses down into this deeper region here. Obviously the PRF is way too high to demonstrate any color Doppler in this region. Once we decrease that setting, then you'll start to see color fill in this vessel here. Also, you can lower your frequency as well. So how do you make the image on the left look like the image on the right? A, decrease baseline, B, low frequency, C, increase Nyquist limit, or D, increase wall filter. How do we make this image here look like this image here? Well, we're not gonna decrease our baseline. By the way, when you adjust your baseline, that will adjust your no Doppler shift zone up or down. Increase Nyquist limit? No, because it's already increased here. Low frequency? Yeah, okay. Increase wall filter? No. So the best option for this question here is lower your frequency. Make sure you ask yourself, the option I'm choosing is answering the questions. Ask the question again, and then look at your option and make sure they match up. So if you're trying to answer a question where, why is one vessel not filled with color while one is filled with color? So you're answering why it's not filled with color. The answer would be because your wall filter, your PRF, your scale, your Nyquist limit are all turned too high. If you're trying to make an image showing a vessel that's void of color look like an image that's filled with color, you're going to want to decrease your PRF, your Nyquist limit, your scale, and your wall filter. You can even lower your frequency if that's one of the options. How do you improve this image? A. Increase Nyquist limit. B. Decrease wall filter. C. Decrease ensemble length. Or D. Increase scale. So what we have to do is based on the choices here, we're going to decrease something because something is turned up too high. So it looks like of all these options here, decrease wall filter is the best choice. You're not gonna decrease ensemble length. You're not gonna increase scale because it's already increased. And you're not gonna increase Nyquist limit because that's already increased. So let me explain to you again what's going on. So your scale, your Nyquist limit, your wall filter, and your PRF are all turned up way too high, thus eliminating color Doppler in this area here while preserving color Doppler here. So once we decrease those settings or the one setting, because when you increase or decrease one of them, they all increase or decrease at the same time, then this will fill in. Always choose the best choice and this is the best choice here. So this says, what must happen to make the image on the left look like the image on the right? A, increase persistence. B, increase Nyquist limit. C, increase PRF. Or D, increase wall filter. So don't get trapped in the thinking, oh, there's PRF, that's gotta be the answer. Make sure you read it carefully because this is saying increase. We wanna make this image right here look like this image here. Just think about what you're answering. If you choose an option, think about what you're actually choosing. So if you did choose increased PRF, what would that do? Well, that would probably completely eliminate all of the color Doppler in this vessel. It wouldn't make it fill in. So here we have increased Nyquist limit, no, that's not gonna do it. Increase wall filter? No. Increase persistence? Yeah, increased persistence will actually fill in the missing color Doppler in this image. If all of these options don't match, go with the best option choice. Make sure with any question, you always go with the best option. Now, obviously these aren't gonna do it and you're not gonna get sucked into the trap of choosing this. So this here is the best choice, increased persistence. So what that does is it'll take a history of previous frames and overlap them on top of each other, creating a smoother image. 
So it will fill in the little spots that don't have color Doppler. Some other acceptable options would be decrease your wall filter, decrease your PRF, decrease your Nyquist limit, and decrease your scale. I'm Jibadochistanbordervue.com. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.